In a top Canadian sleep apnea research lab, they found something very shocking. That is, the airway is not what collapses first in sleep apnea. It's actually your nervous system. And in that lies how the fix starts with how you exhale. So like all of us in medicine are told, the team thought the problem was purely mechanical, right? Like soft tissue, gravity, the weight of the tongue, all of that. But when they were looking at the nerve signals in real time, like minute by minute here, they saw something very strange and very interesting is that the parasympathetic, the rest or digest system, spikes right before an apnea episode. Your heart rate slows, all of that. Then you have the apnea episode and then sympathetics come online. So it's this imbalance that seems to precede the apnea episode. And then when you have the sympathetic spike, then it sets you up for this roller coaster of sympathetics, parasympathetics, and that becomes a very difficult cycle to break. And that's where this paper comes in. It's a systematic review of meta-analysis, very gold standard of research around sleep apnea. And they looked on the effect of respiratory training, especially around exhales and how that impacted sleep apnea. Many studies in there find that the breathing exercises have a positive impact on the nervous system and many think that's a big part of why that will reduce apnea episodes at night. Now, if you want the fastest path and applying that for yourself so you can be breathing, sleeping, and living better, all you have to do is click this red button up here if it's there or the shop button down below, or just simply go to the website or my face, type that into your web browser.